Yes, thank you. Let me add a few words from the EFSF and ESM perspective. The two institutions have continued to issue bonds. Two weeks ago, the ESM issued its first bond of this year. We raised um, um, 6 billion euro with a maturity of seven years. In addition, the ESM has already had five bill auctions this year, which raised a total of nearly 14 billion euro. The EFSF has so far this year issued two bonds, an 8 billion euro five-year bond and a 4 billion euro 10-year bond. So together we raised 12 billion euro for the EFSF. A few words on our program countries. Of course, the president of the Eurogroup already mentioned that on Greece, um, and Vice President Olli Rehn also, um, in Greece, the mission is still in the country. So the size and the timing of the next disbursement from the EFSF to Greece will depend on the outcome of this mission. Altogether, till the end of this year, we still have 10.1 billion euro in the pipeline under the current EFSF program. On Cyprus, um, I expect the ESM's board of directors to authorize the release of the next tranche by early April. This will be for a total amount of 150 million euro, um, which will be dispersed then in the course of April. As a reminder, Cyprus is still scheduled to receive 2.1 billion euro this year out of a remaining total of 4.4 billion euro, which will be dispersed until 2016. On Portugal, um, the conclusion of the 11th review was another good sign of progress. We now wait for the fulfillment of prior actions agreed, and after national procedures are in place, we will release the next EFSF disbursement of 1.2 billion euro, and this will be the final EFSF disbursement under the current program. This should take place in April. The last country I want to say a few words about is Latvia. This Thursday, on the 13th of March, Latvia will become the 18th member of the ESM and the first member state to join the ESM since its inauguration. Latvia became a Euro Area member state at the beginning of the year, of course, as you all know, and according to the ESM treaty, all Euro Area member states also become members of the ESM. Last week I was in Riga and I had very useful discussions with, with the Latvian Prime Minister, Finance Minister, who will also become a member of the ESM Board of Governors. With and also had meetings with the central bank governor and some key members of the Latvian parliament. Latvia brings valuable experience to the Euro area and to the ESM because it was the first European country to enter into the crisis five years ago and Latvia was able to overcome the crisis quickly because its determination in implementing strong fiscal adjustment measures and far-reaching structural reforms. Thank you.